How can we find the value of x in this equation here? The absolute value of 2x plus 1 equals the absolute value of 4x plus 1. Well, firstly, we need to know that the absolute value of n multiplied by the absolute value of n equals n squared. So what we're going to do is change this equation into the absolute value of 2x plus 1 multiplied by the absolute value of 2x plus 1 equals the absolute value of 4x plus 1 multiplied by the absolute value of 4x plus 1. So from here we get 2x plus 1 squared equals 4x plus 1 squared. Now you have to remember the absolute value of 2x plus 1 equals the absolute value of 4x plus 1. This is why I was able to multiply the absolute value of 4x plus 1 by the absolute value of 4x plus 1. Because these two values here are exactly the same. So anyway, from here we have 2x plus 1 squared equals 4x plus 1 squared. Now, I'm going to expand what's inside these brackets and expand what's inside these brackets here. So I get 4x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 1 equals 16x squared plus 4x plus 4x plus 1. So we now get 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 equals 16x squared plus 8x plus 1. And from here we get 16x squared plus 8x plus 1 minus 1 minus 4x minus 4x squared equals 0. And this is 12x squared plus 4x equals 0. Now what I'm going to do is divide everything in this equation by 4. So we're left with 3x squared plus x equals 0. And that is the same as x multiplied by 3x plus 1 equals 0. So we know that x is 0 and x is minus a third. So the absolute value of 2x plus 1 equals the absolute value of 4x plus 1 when x is 0 and x is minus a third. Now let's see if this is truly the case on this graphing app. Where do the graphs of y equals the absolute value of 2x plus 1 and y equals the absolute value of 4x plus 1 intersect? Well, they intersect where x is equal to 0 and they intersect where x is equal to minus a third. So our solutions were correct. If you have any questions, leave your comments below. Thank you for watching this video.